Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another short episode of Big Sky Hobby Corner. I left you guys last time we were painting the wing and I had an uh-oh. And I'll kind of explain a little bit what happened. Um, when I painted the bottom side, there was a lot of white spots through here. And what that was, I didn't seal the wood or the fabric well enough in this area, so it was drawing everything into the wood. So, what I did, I took my sealer that I have mixed up of 50-50, and I just laid a heavy coat over it as it was. Let that dry for 24 hours, and I come back and shot another coat of color on it, and it worked out okay. So, I uh, mixed up some copper plate uh, from Fire Dots, and I striped the fuselage. I didn't video that because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. Now, I am by far not a professional, but... This is what I wound up with, okay? So, that's straight butyrate, or, well, straight butyrate, uh, 50, 25, 25 with uh, copper plate pigment in it. And that actually worked out fairly well. Um, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I did. First thing you need to do, a uh, couple things you need to get. Number one is frog tape. Make sure it's frog tape, because if you get that 98 cent light masking tape, you're gonna hate yourself because it bleeds. When you shoot your paint, it's gonna seep underneath the tape and cause a lot of problems. Frog tape won't do that. I know it costs a little more, but it does its job well. Uh, another thing you're gonna to need to get is either gray scotch bright or steel wool. Because once you get everything taped off, you're gonna to wanna to rough everything up so it'll hold up the paint. It doesn't have to be super sanded or anything like that, but you just kinda of wanna rough the surface up so it helps grab the next layer. You're going to need your X-Acto knife and different things to uh, shape radii if you need to, like I did here. Now, what I did, started out, I come up with a design. Actually, my son Ryan came up with this design. What we're going to do, we're going to do this front part in copper, and then along the wingtips on either side, and I put a radius there. And what I did for that, this is the cap off of a, of a spray glue can. And you just line it up with your tape edges, draw it on there, and get and cut it out with your X-Acto knife. Be careful when you do that, because you can cut through your fabric, as I did on my, uh, I got a wing over here that I play with. Try different ideas out, see where I screw up and fix it on real projects. Um, when you lay your knife in there, just gently cut. If you have to make two or three, four passes, that's fine, no big deal. Don't cut into the fabric. Then what you're going to do, after you choose your design, you know, we're going to do the, the long horseshoe on the top. And then we're going to carry that copper plate around to the spar. The spar is always a good thing to use on the four star because you can see it. And it's going to be straight your forward spar. You're going to carry it out to the end here. Just like so, to match the wing tips. And we're going to stripe over here on this end. That way I can tell what side's what. Um... I don't know if I'm going to do any kind of gold in here or not. Maybe make this one stripe gold. I'm not sure yet, but we'll get there. And then we're going to do the leading edge in uh, gold as well. Um, Ryan's having a rough day. Um, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Now, we got all this area that we need to cover. I got something here to kind of help with that. Bear with me, guys. Go to Walmart and get this craft paper. Okay. And then you can just pull out however much you need. scissors. I'm just grabbing a knife because it was handy. Got a lot of snow here, so I try to keep my stuff from getting wet from the stuff we track in. There's a 
that's from another project. Make sure we have plenty of overhang on either side. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape and just use that to hold it. Make sure you don't get into the surface where you're going to shoot paint. This is a little bit thicker. I like the thinner kind, but you take what you can get, right? I'm just hanging it right now. Going over into our paint field over here, you can just fold it and tuck it out of the way. First, we'll get that front edge lined up. Now, on this part, if you want to use your white masking tape, I don't see an issue with that. You just want to make sure paint doesn't get under it. guys can see or not. Kind of give it a nice little fold and tuck it under. Get it out of the paint field, but don't try not to expose anything that you don't want painted. Because that's what this is for. I mean, if you wanted to tape the whole thing, you could do that too, but then you're going to have a bunch of tape goobers to deal with when you peel it. All right, now that we got that covered, come back with more tape. And seal that front edge because believe me when you go to shoot paint on there it'll find its way underneath it just like that now we want to get our sides Now, see, you can do this a couple different ways here. I don't have the ailerons installed. You can go ahead and install them and do your striping and stuff. That's just fine. I'm going to do them separate because we're in real cold weather and it takes a long time for paint to dry now. And I just got their second coat just a little bit ago. Now that has the top of our wing taken care of. Now, flipping over to our bottom side. stripe we're going to contend with over here all right so we're going to do this bottom side a little bit different I'm just going to cut it loose being careful not to cut into the covering 
about a half inch above the bottom of the wing there. And like I say, you don't have to do this. You can just uh, tape the whole thing if you want. And this part, you know, it really don't matter. I mean, I mean, it does, but if it's a little rough looking, it's okay. It's just there to cover the areas we don't want painted. So now we're going to just take this excess, wrap it around, and tape it down. Now see what I'll do here. I'll fold that over to that tape line for a stripe. Like that. Make sure we cover our no paint zone. Grab a little piece of tape. And pull it down. Just like that. Just kind of go through. Pull it down. Just get it down out of the way. Try not to waste much. I mean, you're talking to a guy that, uh, where he used paint strainers. All right, now here we have a couple options. We want to cover this field right here. That's right. So what we'll do, we'll take, grab our tape here, our factory edge, because remember when we ripped that? And pull it up. And of course you're gonna have a goofy corner, or I will anyway. Hold it back and get it out of the way. I just had my tape. Now this is just to kind of help hold it in place. Now we're gonna run out of paper over here, but that's okay. We got a plan for that. We're gonna seal this front edge. too close to the paint field that I'm more a little closer than what I'm comfortable with. There we go. Much more gooder. I want to try to get back into the habit of making a video once a week. All right, so at this point, sorry, I just kind of took a rabbit trail for no reason. I'm going to flip this over. We're just going to cut our paper. Plenty of a pigtail to wrap back around. I'm just, you can use scissors. I'm just using this 
hobby knife because it was right handy. And again, it doesn't have to be pretty. Yeah, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna use a piece of that here in a minute. Again, kind of like my wrapping job I did for Christmas presents here. It's just to kind of get it out of the way so paint don't go where it needs to go. Or so it don't go where it don't need to go. You get you get what I'm saying. Smell what I'm stepping in. Again, if you see paper that's going to wind up in the paint field, just fold it and tuck it. Fold, tuck, and tape. All right, now we got that out of the way. We got this little piece over here we need to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and secure this one edge over here. Oh, it's cold. Well, 51 in here is 26 outside. I'll tell you right now, it ain't worth a shit to shoot a paint. I mean, you can, but that, that brings up a little tip I can tell you. If you're shooting your paint and it's cold, you're going to have a problem if you don't have enough retarder in it. Uh, it'll blush. It'll have white spots in it. Add retarder. What that does, that allows the moisture that's in the air that when you shoot to evaporate and escape the paint. Blushing is actually moisture that's trapped in the paint. So if you add just a touch more retarder, you'll uh, escape that problem. All right. Now we got our wing tip here. Didn't quite have enough paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of tape that down to get it out of the way. Doesn't have to be pretty. All it's got to do is catch paint, right? So, I'm going to take our drop, our little square here. We don't need a whole lot. Right about there. I'm going to take you a piece and line it up here and carefully rip it off. <laughs> that was a joke. All right. And all we need to do, a little horn poking up there. It'd help if it was square corners. So take a tray this corner. We'll put it up there and tape it down. Again, all it's got to do is catch paint and keep paint from going up under under the edge there. So. Get that lined up right there. I'm gonna tape on it. Then I'll seam the front and the sides there. Seam it, seal it, secure it, however you want to look at it. Don't give a shit, just as long as it gets done and it gets done and looking good. Sergeant Cox taught me that. I was worried about details, and I was swigging out about it, freaking out. And uh, he said, Kendall, you're sweating the small shit. I said, well, it's all in the details. He goes, that's where the devil hides. Don't sweat the small shit, and you'll have a better life. I wish I'd have listened to him a lot more. Well, that old man was full of wisdom. Sergeant Donald Cox, a good guy. But if you messed up, he wouldn't hesitate to get in your ass either. All right. I'll roll it around here. All right. It looks like we're not going to be able to fold it. So, to be a little more precise with my wife's uh, fabric scissors, <laughs> you know that's a good way to get your ass kicked, right? Alright, we're just going to cut that off. I'm going to fold this side up, 
because see our have a paint field. Ooh, I need to do something about that. I'm gonna have a paint field that's gonna come back so we can't roll our paper over. So what I'll do where that tape line is, I'll secure it there really well and seam over to the right of it. Again, you're just keeping paint out of areas it doesn't need to go. I see a little problem here. I need to address. I didn't quite get over enough. Because trust me, if you're shooting paint, this will find a hole. And you'll see it big as day when you take everything apart. So... All right, that pretty much takes care of that. This, you can use it as spare. You can throw it in the fire pit, whatever. I'm going to keep it because I'm more than a Mexican. I hang on to everything. Love you guys. All right, now, got this little area we need. Oh, hanger rash, worst ever. This little area we need to address right here. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut down to where the bottom of the wing is again just getting it out of the way <clears throat> just being very careful I'm gonna get my scissors trim that off just like that and now because an aileron's going here and we're not going for any kind of like top gun scale contest or anything, I'm just gonna tape that area just to seal it, okay? Try to get your line straight because it will show, kinda. But we're gonna have an aileron there. So I'm gonna do that. And just like that, it's sealed. And what I do, I just kind of fold my tape back out of the way. And there you have it. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming video. I'm not going to shoot the, the paint tonight. But our color is going to be copper plate. Um, that's the color we're going to shoot. Now, if we shoot this raw copper plate on top of this blue, it's going to look black. Okay, we don't want that. So what you want to do. Um, what I suggest is at aircraftspruce.com get you a quart of silver, okay? Silver, non-tottening dope, non-tottening butyrate. Um, they have a few colors. They're kind of boring, but get you some silver or white. I have some silver powder, so I just made my own silver because um, it was right handy. So this is what I use. It's 50, 25, 25, two tablespoons of silver, titanium silver. And then what we're going to do, we're going to shoot this whole thing, okay? I'm going to shoot the top of it, let it dry to the touch, and then flip it over. Shoot the bottom of it, the whole thing, everywhere there's going to be color. Let it dry for 24 hours. First, before you do that, rough everything up with your scotch bride or your steel wool, okay? Shoot the paint, let it dry for 24 hours. Come back, rough it up again, shoot another coat, okay? You want to change that color to silver or white, okay? because that'll make your trim color pop. I mean, like a firecracker. Once that dries for 24 hours, rough it up. Then you can take your copper plate and shoot it. Shoot the whole thing, okay? Let it dry for 24 hours, rough it up, put one more coat on there, copper plate. Rough it up, shoot another coat. You're going to get that deep, rich copper color, okay? And then while we're doing that, I'll be thinking about what I'm going to do with the gold, okay? So this should be a fun little project. It is 6.30 in the evening. We just got done with supper. I'm going to go ahead and start this uploading. And uh, I got other projects in the fire as well. You'll see them one day. Um, I just don't want to expose them just yet. Uh, all I can say is just make sure all your edges are down. Use the green frog tape. You will be successful with that. And uh, make sure you rough up your service. 
dry time is very important. Uh, don't don't shoot your paint and don't mess with it, okay? Because then you're going to run into problems if you start messing with it, okay? So another short episode of the Big Sky Hobby Corner SIG 4 Star 40 with SIG coverall and uh, a dope finish uh, with aircraftspruce.com. Uh, Butyrate thinner, butyrate non totany dope, and butyrate retarder. So that's all I have for today. We don't want to rush the process, so we'll probably do shoot some silver tomorrow. Okay, so we'll see you then. Uh, this, yeah, anyway.